Hi Makeup Geeks, I wanted to do an update for you guys about my hair loss. I've done one video about it already and it is very hard for me to talk about because it's a very personal thing with women and our hair. Um, but I, I've gotten such an outflow of emails from you guys about you dealing with your own hair loss too. And so I want to keep doing these videos on a somewhat regular basis to kind of tell you like where I'm at in my journey, what I'm doing to try to help. Because I know there's so many of you out there that are going through the same thing I am. But for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm only 33 years old. And in the last three or four years, I've lost probably about 75% of my hair. You cannot tell because I have... A a crap ton of extensions in right now <laughs> um, and it, it would be easier for me to deal with if I was you know in my 40s 50s 60s and if it was gradual I would be like okay it's just part of aging I could kind of deal with that but for me it literally was almost overnight I was losing my hair like crazy and 75% of my hair in a few years is a crazy amount of hair especially for me I'm 33 is not old and so it's been very difficult for me. There's been many nights where I've cried myself to sleep because I would just wake up in the morning, you know, I would shower and I would comb through and I would I could see my scalp and it's just very hard to deal with. So um, I wanted to tell you guys what I'm doing now to try to help with my hair loss. Um, I'm taking biotin and multivitamins every single day as well as vitamin E and fish oil. So I try to get all of those healthy fats and a multivitamin to get me as many nutrients as I can. But basically my hair loss is caused from um, taking a lot of antibiotics as a kid. I've been to several doctors, done lots of tests this summer. I've had a horrific health experience where my stomach was so jacked up I could not even keep food down. I've had many trips to the hospital, ER visits because the pain was so severe I couldn't even like breathe properly and basically what I have it sounds kind of gross but um, my holistic doctor has diagnosed me with leaky gut and from all the antibiotic usage as a kid as an adult I basically have holes in my intestine and all of the food and vitamins that I'm taking they're slipping through those holes and I'm not actually getting the nutrients from my food and that's why my hair is falling out um, in addition, I have gastritis, which is an inflammation of the stomach. So I can have, I can eat any, I, I, can, I can eat a carrot stick, literally, a carrot stick, and my stomach will attack it like it's a foreign body. So I get a lot of extreme pain, upset stomach, indigestion, a lot of symptoms. Um, so what I do to try to help with that part of it is to take L-glutamine, which is a, um, I think it's like a protein cell builder. I'll have to look it up, but it's, I'm on a strict vitamin regimen with my holistic doctor, but I take L-glutamine three times a day. Um, and another side effect is I have low stomach acid. Basically, my stomach cannot break down food properly, so I have to take HCL, which is a, um, a an acid pretty much that helps to digest my food so I can get the nutrients from it. Um, and then I also take, you know, like the multivitamin, how else am I taking? Oh, I take probiotics too. So if you guys have some of those same symptoms where you have hair loss, acne, stomach problems, can't digest food, um, uh, acid reflux, I would see um, I, the best help I've gotten is from a holistic doctor. I totally recommend them. They, you know, you have to pay out of pocket for them, but they will definitely get you on a good vitamin regimen that will help. So with all that in mind, that is helping slow down my hair loss. I have not seen any extra hair growth, but it has stopped falling out for now. So that's definitely a good thing for me. I'm hoping as the months go by and if I continue with this, that my hair will start to grow back at least a little bit. I mean, if not, you know, I've, I've come to terms with it now. Um, so what I do is to wear um, extensions to help with that. And that's what I kind of want to talk a little bit about today too, is the type of extensions I have. Um, the kind um, I use are the tape-in ones. They're pretty much permanent ones that I have done in a salon. I go every six to eight weeks to see my girl Amanda and she um, puts the extensions in. She adjusts them up and I'll show them to you guys so you can see what they look like. I have a couple pair of extensions in because I want to show you guys options today. But um, let me see if I can get this on the second camera. Okay. Another cool thing about extensions is you can do an ombre or get highlights and it doesn't affect your hair because the colored part is the actual extension. So you see the blonde pieces I have here? That's not my natural hair, it's an extension. But can you see the tape right here? Let me try to show that, the little shiny piece. It's hard to detect um, day to day because it's such a clear little piece of tape and they lay flat to your head. But this kind here is the Cinderella hair, but there's another brand called Hair Dreams that I started out with and they're called Quickies. So basically what there are is tape extensions. They are a bit pricey for a full head of extensions. It's around five to seven hundred dollars. It lasts for six months. So yes, it's very pricey, but for me personally, it's worth the investment because 
I just, it really does help me cope with the hair loss a lot better. And they're very comfortable. They don't damage my hair. I've had beaded ones, bonded ones. Um, you know, I've used, I use clip-in ones. And the tape ones for me are the best because they don't hurt my head. They don't pull out my hair because my hair is very fragile. And um, they last a long time. I mean, six months for a good set of hair, and you just go every couple months to have them moved up. I mean, you can get them even to last a year if you take care of them well. And um, they're easy. They don't. It doesn't take forever for her to adjust them. So I absolutely love them. So I highly recommend those. Um, another option, if you guys don't want to spend a ton of money on hair, you can get clip-in ones. And I want to highlight a brand today that's a local company um, they've actually worked near our makeup geek here in Sacramento and um, it's called Sophia G and the owners of this company really sweet they're just very passionate about what they do and it's really cute too because it's actually named after one of the owner's daughters Sophia's her their daughter's name really cute so it's called Sophia G hair.com it's a local company that does extensions and I have a couple of them in today I wanted to show you guys um, but basically they are 20 inch um, human remy hair so you can curl them style them dye them blow dry them whatever you guys want and the hair looks like this let me pull it out so this is the piece here let me get a close-up shot of the clips there one thing about clip-ins is you want to have great clips that stay in your head these clips do not budge and my hair is very fine very um, thin and so I need something that grips to my head really well so the clips are really good quality and the hair is very very soft it feels just like, you know, very soft human hair. And they curl well, they style, you can dye them, all sorts of stuff. Um, and this company, they have them in seven colors. Let me look at my pricing sheet. So seven colors, 20 inches. For 125 grams, it's 149. For 175 grams, which is a lot of hair, is 189. Like this box here, I think this is 175 grams. And I mean, there's like, do you see all of this hair that's in here? Plus I have some in my head too. So. Um, what you can do with the clip-in extensions to make them look more real is to trim them to match your length. So that's what I did here is I trimmed them to uh, blend in with my natural hair. And I just put a few pieces in. I put them at the base of my neck and then a couple pieces on each side. And then what I do with my hair on top is I take my crown, which is thinny thin thin, <laughs> and I take a boar bristle brush and I just back comb it a little bit, not a ton, because I'm not trying to break off my fragile hair. Oops. So take your brush and you just very gently comb it like this. And you can take a little bit of hairspray, kind of spray the roots and poof it out. So it kind of gives you more volume and it covers all of the extensions. So that's what I do for my hair. I'll link to their website um, below so you guys can check them out if you want to try their hair or not. But um, that's what I'm doing for my hair loss. I'm just... <clears throat> I wear the extensions and um, I take my vitamins. I've seen a holistic doctor. I've gotten all my health in order to try to fix the underlying problem first. And I'm really hoping that over time I'll slowly start to get my hair back. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. But um, I hope that helps you guys with your hair loss as well. You're not alone. Um, we'll be in this together. And uh, if you guys have answers or solutions to what has worked for you, I would love to hear it because I'm definitely trying to just keep my hair at bay just to not lose any more. Um, anytime soon. So I hope that helps you guys stay healthy and happy like always. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.